welcome back to a new video. I am feeling a lot better, but even while I was sick, I was still kind of videotaping, so I just wanted to do a little voiceover since my voice is a lot better now than it was before. So this is me feeding calves like normal. This is the youngest room that we had at the moment. We ended up cleaning out a whole other room already, so these guys are no longer the youngest ones, but as of this video, they are. <laughs> So for these guys, when they're on the bottle, they get 2 liters, and then in increments of 0.5 liters, we up them every week or so, eventually, until they're on 3.5 liters twice a day, which gives them 7 liters a day. This is the oldest room that I'm currently feeding. It was really nice out, so I didn't have to wear a toque. I was able to keep my hair up in a bun. It was great. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on that calf that I saved a few videos ago. This is the one that a heifer was calving. I could see that the placenta sac was still covering this calf's head. So I went to go and pull it off because her body was pretty much out up until the hips. But Mama stopped pushing, so I went to go and check to pull the bag off. And then Mama got off with the baby still hanging out and then basically just drop baby on her head. So <laughs> all of these calves are doing really good. So don't mind the big bit of noise that's everywhere, but I come out to check on these guys and Evie has escaped her pen. So we can uh, say that she's on the mend here. The little stinker is feeling good enough to escape her pen through the holes here. You're so funny! Look at her wagging her tail. Hey! You're a funny girl! Hi! So, I'm done feeding goats now. <laughs> Gotta get back and milk cows at the dairy. I put in like, 
I don't know, I think six new does in this corral here over the past week. Kind of just put them in in groups of two so that they at least have a buddy. Sorry, this snow is really stinking deep. So sometimes you're walking and it gives way. <laughs> Makes for some shaky videography, which I apologize for. But yeah, have a few more goats than normal in that corral, which is nice. Kind of trying to consolidate a few groups into one big group so it's easier to feed them. So this is something that I am really, really, really excited to show you guys. I have officially been able to partner with Lakeland Farm and Ranch and they are a company based in Manitoba and they make amazing sheep and goat products and this is something that is going to be making my life a whole lot easier once the weather turns nice. So this is their deluxe trimming chute. It spins the goat pretty much all the way upside down so that you can trim their feet. And this specific package I got with two extra little panels that go inside so that I can put smaller goats in there for trimming. And it came with six five-foot panels as well. They're made from aluminum, so they're super light and easy to work with. And this is me unloading it from the trailer. It was a little nerve-wracking for sure, but didn't uh, have too much trouble getting it off. I gotta mention too that this specific unloading footage is sped up because I essentially had the <laughs> throttle on all the way down just so that I wouldn't hit anything that I shouldn't because I want to be really careful with this because I'm, I'm so happy with this product and I'm so thankful that Lakeland wanted to partner with me for this. So in a second you're going to see me unclipping it from everything, but yeah. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Stay tuned because I'm going to be videotaping a lot about this trim shoot, how to use it, and how well it works for me and for the goats. This is honestly a godsend, and I'm so, so, so happy that this product is here. I've been eyeing it for a few years now, so I'm really, really happy that it's here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!